Hello everyone! Today we are going to look how you emit events in LiveWire using the emit, emit2 and emitup methods. We will explore how and why you would use these methods and when you would use which one. To do so, I have gone ahead and created a contrived example where we will use LiveWire events to communicate between components to create a guessing game. Let's take a look at the requirements and the domain of our guessing game. In the game, we will have three LiveWire components. A referee, which will ask the players to guess a number, the players, who will try to guess the correct number, and the parents of the players. I've made up the following requirements, and everything should happen using events. The referee asks the players to guess a number. The players inform the referee of their guess. The referee informs the players who won. The parents, should try to listen in on the event that announces who won, but should not be allowed to. Also, the losing player should fire another event asking their parent to go home, but the other parent should not hear this event. I've made up the requirements in such a way that they should help us see the difference between emit, emit up, and emit to. Let's start working on the first requirement. Firing an event from the referee to the players, asking them to make their guess. This event should be fired when we click the start button. The start button is located in the view of the referee LiveWire component. On the button, I've added a wire click start, which will call the start method inside the referee component. From the referee component, we will then emit a start guessing event and we'll show some text in the browser to show that something is actually happening. We've used the most simple way to fire an event in LiveWire, the regular emit function. You just have to pass it the name of the event you want to fire. Let's see if our button is working. Let's refresh the page and click our button. And sure, it shows the text that I've added here. Let's now head over to the player component and try to actually listen for the event. Listening for an event is actually very simple. You just add the name of the event to a listener's array. Livewire will then try to call a method which is named the same way as the event. So the start guessing listener will call the start guessing event. When this method is fired, we'll make the player do a guess, a number between one and 10, and then emit an ev another event called attempt guess to the referee. We've now added two extra parameters to our emit method. This is a way in which you can contain data inside an event, which the listener can then use to do whatever. Let's see if it works. Let's refresh. Press the start button. And yes, we saw the first event being fired and then the players receive the guessing event and fire their own emit to inform the referee what they've guessed. So we've worked on our first two requirements. The referee asked the players to guess a number and the players have informed the referee of their guess. The referee should now inform the players who won. We will do so by making the referee listen for the attempt guess event the players fire when making a guess. I set it over to the referee. Let's add the required listener, attempt guess. And here is the function that matches the listener. We'll make the referee wait for both guesses. So that's why we have this count. And then the referee will announce the winner with the announce winner event, which will contain the name of the winner. The referee is actually a cheat and always announces player one as the winner. Let's now make the players listen to the announce winner event. Let's head over to the players and comment another listener and that will call the announce winner event. So 
So let's uncomment some text here so we can see who won and who lost. Let's press start, ask the players to start guessing. The players guess and the referee receives the attempted guess and then announces the winner. And then the players receive the announced winner event. This player won and this player lost. That fixes our third requirement. However, there was an extra requirement here. The parent should try to hear who won, but should be prevented from listening in. So let's make the parent try to also listen to the announced winner event. Let's see if it works. The parent should now also listen in on the announced winner event. The players have heard the event, and yes, the parent, both parents know who won. But that was not allowed by our requirement. So how can we prevent the parents from listening in? What we'll have to do is use the emit to instead of the emit method. So let's head over to the referee. So the problem is that this is actually a global event. So any component can actually start listening to this event. What we want is actually to use emit to and to only send this event to the players. This will prevent the parents from listening in on this event. Let's see if it works. Start guessing, attempt to guess, announce the winner, and now we have a losing and a winning player, but the text doesn't show up inside the parents anymore. So they are unable to listen in. So we've now also fixed this requirement. Next up, the losing player asks their parent to go home. Let's head over to the player components. And the losing player will emit an event, want to go home. We'll make the parent listen to that event, want to go home. And then we'll show some text to acknowledge that the parent has received this event. Let's see what, hap what happens. And yes, received wants to go home. But there is a problem. Both parents have received this event. And according to our requirements, only the parent of the losing player should receive a request to go home. So how can we fix this? What we'll do is use emit up instead of emit. As the name suggests, emit up sends the event up in the DOM. And because the players are nested in their own parents, that's exactly what we want. So emit up wants to go home. Let's refresh and let's see what happens. So we have the losing player here and the parent of the losing player receives the wants to go home event, but the parent of the winning player doesn't receive the wants to go home event. It's important to note that emit2 would also not have worked here because both parents are actually of the same type. We have now fulfilled all our requirements. Hopefully you now understand the differences between emit, emit up and emit to and when you would like to use which one. That's all folks. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.